Well, my friends, we find ourselves here at another exciting Reviews with Booze episode. And I'm Winston Smith. And I'd like to do a group uh, that's along a little bit different of a line than what I usually do on this show. And that group is the famous poster boys of gypsy punk Gogo Bordello. And it's their EP Extra East in Infection. <laughs> now this is definitely something for, for the fans who already have all the albums. Like it, love it, but just can't get enough! They need more Gogol! It's the EP Extra! Okay, but for people who've never heard Gogol Bordello, this is not the best representation of the groups. If you, you know, never heard it. Not saying it's bad, it's actually pretty good, and I'll walk you through it in just a moment after I open up this brewski. Uh, you know, you ever noticed, uh, they, they always make the uh, beer bottle opener for your keys, but isn't that almost encouraging someone to drink and drive? It's just like out driving, beer, beer, driving, put them together, and what do you got? The flickety, flickety, squoo. I don't disregard that bullshit. <laughs> that was ranting. Winston moments. Well, he's back to the album. We're going to walk through this album. And track one is the title track, East Infection. And this is uh, obviously one of the showcasers because it's unreleased, and it's incentive for the fan to buy. Number two is Avenue B, and Avenue B is already released, I don't know if it was at the time, but uh, already nowadays is released on an album called Underdog World Strike, and that version, it just is all around better, in my opinion. Definitely the Underdog version is better than what we got here, but I think these are a little less produced and maybe even demo versions of songs on the CP. The next song is Mala Vida, which is also another sweet... Uh, incentive to buy because it's a cover tune by a European group, I almost want to say Mexican, but your um, group uh, called Mono Chow. And I love this version a little bit better than the original, actually. I think it's the intensity. Fucking rocks. But anyways, the next song, though. Let me take a drink for this. Oh, the next song. It's called Copycat. And I gotta tell you, this is the worst Gogo Bordello song ever. It sucks. I, I can't even believe it. Like, to say that. This song blows. This song sucks. I don't know what you guys were thinking. It blows. It's lousy. It's shitty. <sighs> Please. Never make another song like Copycat. <laughs> Anyways, um, but the next song is also nowadays is released on an album called Super Toronto and it's Strange Uncle from Abroad. It's an epic tune that has sweet building musical parts with the, the fiddle showcasing and all sorts of sweet ass shit. But once again, the Super Toronto version is more epic, sounds better, produced better, and everything all else that comes with that. <laughs> the last song is Madagascar. Romania and uh, it showcases a female singer. It's a, it's I think it's more of a longer, lengthy, epic song, uh, with the hook that the girl is like, and it's really sweet and catchy, and I like it. It may be one of the best songs on the album. It's not the fastest, most punk, or most exciting, but it's definitely the catchiest with the sweet hook and the yada yada. Anyways, uh, if you've never heard Gogol. Pick up uh, another album, um, preferably the three in the middle right now. Not the newest one produced by, produced by Rick Rubin, because in my opinion, it took a little bit of the soul away. It's a good album, but it's just not the same as uh, Irony, or Multi-Contract Colte versus Irony, or Underdog, or Super Toronto. Those three are pretty much what you want to check out. But if you already have all those albums, pick this up, fans. And you'll be pleasantly surprised at how enjoyable it can be added into your Gogol Bordello collection. Keep it real, the gypsy ball! This is fucking uh, Reviews with Booze. 
And I'm saying peace, friends.